Josh and the newly uh, acquired Citrix ITM. You might know as a Sodexis, but there's a lot of uncertainty about what the product's about, what the thing's for, and the kind of problems that it solves. So we thought we'd just catch two minutes, and Josh can tell us directly from Sodexis exactly what the whole thing is around. So, Josh, yeah, thanks for your time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can just take one. All right, all right. So, so ITM is is, uh, is Sodexis. We joined Citrix uh, earlier this year, and we're excited about expanding it into the uh, into the broader uh, product base and, and customer base. Um, so essentially what we do is we, uh, we monitor the global internet and we watch for availability, we watch for performance from, from every enterprise, every ISP, to every provider of infrastructure. And we uh, we make that available so that uh, our customers can, can deliver the best experience through global traffic management to their customers. And so um, whether you're sitting on a mobile phone or on your laptop or in a coffee shop or at your home, or at an airport, you can get the best experience, you know, getting your work done, getting to your email, watching streaming videos, things like that. Okay, so in the Netscaler world, we have GSLB. Yep. It's obviously a very popular feature that would determine which resource our user is pointed to. So I guess the, the obvious question is, is how is this how is different? It? What makes it different? Yeah. And, and what's the cool stuff that allows us to do this? Yeah, so, so uh, GSLB on the Netscaler is fantastic. Uh, it's served from a device, you know, that, that people manage themselves. Uh, we are a SaaS managed service with a global footprint, so we can deliver DNS from about 100 points on the planet. Um, it's point to click, buy what you want, you know, you don't have to deploy devices. Um, we're also very, very data driven, so we can pull in not just data from the local load balancers, but data from uh, APM metrics, from uh, the internet performance, from synthetic bit monitoring, uh, can all be brought together combined with programmable policy and delivered on a whole footprint. Okay, so, and so we're effectively then, we're, we're bringing GSLB up to date with more intelligence so that we're actually aware of, of much more finite detail of, of how healthy a resource is, how quick a resource is to respond, Absolutely. taking the user's location into, into perspective. So who uses it? Who's, who's currently using the platform? Uh, so we, we have a variety of large global customers. Uh, LinkedIn's a big customer, Microsoft's a big customer. Um, Airbnb is a big customer. Uh, Bloomberg is a big customer. CBS is a customer. It's a large, large companies like that. Yeah. And so, do you find then you've got a sweet spot for those kind of big global web enterprises? Do you see that that potentially is also then lending itself more to the enterprise, the traditional kind of enterprise? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we, we have customers of all sizes. It's just more recognizable some of the name, some of the name brands at the top. But we've we've got customers all the way down into you know um, the Fortune. 10,000 yeah. uh, kind of customer enterprises. Anybody who, who cares about the quality of their digital experience delivery um, is, is a candidate is, is talking about. Okay. It's cool. And so it's a software as a service platform. So there's no tin on the ground, there's no Correct. virtual yeah, appliances. We run it all. Are you collecting data from the, uh, from the resource? So is that a little agent on some side? Yeah, so we, we, uh, we collect a lot of data through a JavaScript tag that's hosted by about a thousand different uh, global websites. And in the background, it, it uh, collects this performance data. It does it in a very um, uh, passive way so that it doesn't have any impact on the, on the experience that the user is getting on the website. Uh, just, it just measure, takes measurements, submits them to us. Um, tens of billions of data points every day that we turn into this information stream that lets us optimize the experience for everybody. Awesome. Um, it sounds really interesting, and obviously Citrix, as usual, they brought a new company in, so they need to kind of figure out how this actually get priced and all that sort of stuff. But yeah. I guess over time we're going to see how this bakes in and how it works with GSLB, how it works against GSLB, but yeah. on the sounds of it, it's a really simple onboarding process to get from where we are. I mean, I guess we think about cloud DNA customers at the moment. We've got those folks who are in web enterprises who are very much reliant on the, on the internet and global points of presence, so there's an obvious thing there, but the onboarding process then is really quite straightforward. It's just a SaaS service, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a managed service. It's, uh, it's a simple sign-up, a simple provisioning process. Um, we've had companies get started in as few, you know, as few as 10 or 20 minutes. Um, as they start to discover the power and flexibility, they'll get more engaged and start creating more expressive policy that can, you know, turn into a, a little bit better project. But you can get started in, in minutes. And you, uh, we've spoken previously. We heard about some of the naming that you have on the different sort of flavors of how you're collecting data. Those radar and so yep. uh, yep. on. Just explain a little bit about that. Yeah. So we've uh, our radar community is our global internet performance data set, and that's that's the from everywhere to everywhere view of what's going on in the world live. 
Uh, sonar is our synthetic monitor, so we can publicly monitor fifth endpoints. And uh, we can go all the way down to a full form of measurements every single second that's propagated to our global network in a few seconds. Um, so very reactive, very quick. Um, we have fusion, which is our ability to ingest um, alternate metrics. So you can pull APM metrics out of what's going on inside your data center. And what that allows you is to take all three of those layers and consider them in your policy. You want to make sure the roads are clear and getting there. You want to make sure the front door is open. And you want to make sure everything's going fine in the factory in order to send somebody into that particular experience. Perfect. I can see it already. I can see Cloud DNA customers that would need this straight away. So I think over the next weeks and months as we learn how this is going to come into the Citrix family, it's going to be really interesting. But for yeah. that, thank you. I appreciate it. It's super busy. Yeah, yeah. Lots thank going you. on. So thank you very much for your time. And enjoy the rest of the My pleasure. Thank you. Brilliant.